shall we? We've got Coastal Carolina and College of Charleston makes the show on a Monday. Again, a double-digit home favorite. That's Charleston by 14. The total is 157 in this matchup. Let's go back to Matty Cox. You're going to have the official play on this one. What do you like, my friend? I like Charleston. I certainly don't like Coastal Carolina. And this is sort of a dangerous angle to go against fading the Chanticleers out there in Myrtle Beach. But uh, with the, the fact that they're currently under an interim head coach, a lot of people believe that if you have an interim coach, it tends to kind of create this you know, ignition switch. It, it, it rejuvenates a team. And I think that could be at play here. But everything else, in my opinion, leans toward uh, College of Charleston. Specifically, uh, the first half is where I'm going to target this bet here. It's one of these few teams that I think plays a very unique style. Just Charleston, and they're, they're prone to just beating teams uh, by big margins early in the game. Now, they can be, uh, you know, you can come back door in them against them in the second half. But I just think the way that their offense flows, um, defenses aren't prepared to guard them out of the gate. They can make adjustments second half, but typically that first half angle is where you want to target them. I'm just looking at what Charleston's done lately, right? I mean, they you look back at what they did at that MTE with Florida Atlantic in Liberty, um, to have Liberty down for 30 minutes in that game, and they kind of cracked late, but I think that's aged pretty well as we've seen how good Liberty's been. Um, I'm sorry, Florida Atlantic's been, Liberty as well, and then Rhode Island and Citadel. Those are two teams that I think are better than Coastal Carolina. They beat Rhode Island by 15, they beat the Citadel by 15, so you're effectively getting the same full game price against a worse team, in my opinion. So I like that angle. Again, condensed to the first half. I'm going to lay it here with the fighting Pat Kelsey's for the city. Uh, Charleston at home here where they've won all three of their home games. As, as uh, Maddie was laying out, they did have an MTE and they've been on the road a little bit. Six Eastern time for this one. Corby, any thoughts here? Charleston, Coastal Carolina. Yeah, I, uh, I was looking at this game when Matt put it on the sheet. And, and one thing stuck out as the most sore thumb and people in the chat also caught it. This is Coastal's very first road game this year. Uh, they've only played at home all year, so that's never fun. Also, Charleston is uh, a good first-half team, as Matt alluded to, 56 in the nation in first-half points per game. Uh, this is a team, I mean, we, we've seen their efficiency for quite some time now. They, they went to the tournament. You're not surprising anybody by saying Charleston's a well-coached team that uh, has pieces to get up and go early. Coastal, on the other hand, I, uh, we talked about interim coach. Like, I just think this is a bad spot. First road game, interim coach this is a team who – does the opposite of start well, um, even at home with, at the time, their coach. They're 288th in the nation in first half margin. And, and though they've played some decent games, Furman, they've already played Charleston once. Uh, I, I don't think there's a team that's in a good spot hitting the road um, to to really do anything. In that first game, Coastal Carolina scored 13 points in the first 10 minutes. They, they kind of got bailed out by foul calls uh, to end the first half to keep yep. that first half kind of close. Uh, but they didn't look good by any means. I, I think that they, the, the 25 they scored in the first half was kind of an inorganic 25. It was probably closer to like 21, and I would expect Charleston to be able to score near 30. So I uh, feel fine backing Charleston here uh, with an interim coach. It's a great point that you make that they these two teams, and we've seen this a couple of times. We saw it, what, Friday night with New Mexico and New Mexico State that it was yep. a quick rematch in December, and now uh, this was a game in early December or maybe even in late November, that was at Coastal, one by eight by Charleston. And again, Matty Cox says, give me the first half line here in the rematch. He'll lay the eight with Charleston in the matchup with Coastal Carolina. Again. <laughs>